Hello friends, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And I don't know if you're like me, but I get a lot of ads on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere else, and it's pretty much all gym equipment. And this one in particular, I get all the time, and many of you have requested we do a review on. This is the Omorpho weighted shirt and weighted vest. They also make weighted tights. Now I'm gonna talk through the idea that is Omorpho. I'm gonna talk through whether I think the idea of micro-loading, which is their big claim, is one that is true and one that you should actually consider. And I'm just gonna give you an overall review and my honest take on Omorpho. So, let's get into it. Okay, weighting your workouts is not a new idea. It's something that we see all over. I don't know if you've ever seen those people running down the street with tactical vests and you're like, what is wrong with those people? That's kind of what I've done for many years. This is people that like to work out outside and weight those workouts. Now that's often done with a weighted vest, but there are other ways that it's been done over the years. I don't know if you've ever seen those bangles, the wrist weights or the ankle weights. I also used to, when I was played lacrosse and hockey, we used to wear these like hip weights that had these attachable weights. And it's basically a way to load the workouts you're already doing. And I really think that's what Amorpho is designed to do. It's designed to add load to movements and training you're already doing. Now, here's kind of what Amorpho is all about. They do a thing called micro-loading. And micro-loading is a really nice term for very lightweight. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a very light weight that they're adding to different types of apparel that you can add into movements or training or workouts or sports or whatever you're already doing. Now, they have a few different types of clothing they're adding the weight to. They have like a top, which is like this. This is a long sleeve. They have a short sleeve. They also have a tank top, if you're in tank tops. They also have shorts, tights, and then a weighted vest. Now, I've been able to use these and kind of just wear them, feel them. I've also tested and reviewed pretty much all their competitors. There aren't a lot of competitors for their shirts, but they do have competitors, obviously, for weight vests. I've broken down all of those. If you'd like to see any of that, we'll put links below the like button that you can check those videos out. Also, just for transparency, Amorpho sent these for an honest review, so I'm gonna give you my honest take like we do in all of our other videos. In addition to that, if you'd like to purchase these, we'll put some links below the like button where you can purchase them. It goes to support us. It doesn't increase any of the costs that you pay, but if you enjoy these videos, it would support us in the work that we do. Now, before I get started, one thing I do wanna ask, this was a recommendation from you guys to review. It's always helpful when I hear and know what you guys want us to review. So if there's any product out there that we haven't done a review on yet, or you'd like to see a comparison, let me know in the comments. Now, I'm gonna start with the apparel, and then I'll hit on the weight vest later on, because I think these are two different types of things. One, this one is much lighter than the weight vest, and two, this is just an apparel. This is something that you can wear anytime, and that one is really your design. You're gonna be wearing that while you're working out. Now, this is the claim. Okay, this is really, I think, the most important. This is the foundation that this needs to be set on. Amorpho is claiming that micro-loading is something that increases performance. So what I did is they have a science section of their website where they have some studies done on micro-loading different movements. I tried to do some Google searching of the studies that they reference. I actually had some trouble finding them, so if you know where they are, put the links below the like button. Maybe I'm just not a good Google researcher. But I did find a couple that they reference, and I was able to find the studies. This is the idea that somebody adding micro-loading to movements and training they're already doing. One instance was a sprinter. It was a former sprinter. They did a five-week programming, adding micro-loading to the sprinting they were already doing. And they saw an increase in various metrics of performance. And that's the idea is that you can use this I don't think this is something where you put it on and suddenly you know, you're gonna get crazy strong if you do a bunch of squats, but it's a way that you can load different movements without it feeling so cumbersome. So if you're a basketball player, if you're a football player, if you just like want to run and make it a little bit harder, if you wanna hike, or if you just wanna use this in normal everyday life, they're saying you can add this on and you can use it in that way. So I'll speak to kind of how it feels in those environments. Number one is it is very comfortable. It's essentially a sweat wicking shirt that then has these printed like 
I don't know, they're like little tiny weights that are on there. I've been able to use it. We haven't had any pop off. I actually looked at other reviews online just to see. I was curious if maybe rubbing against it or something would make them fall off. I haven't seen anybody talk about that. It feels like a normal polyester, sweat wicking, elastic. It's got some elastic in there. Sure, I mean, that's how it feels with a little bit extra weight. When you hold it in your hand like this, you're like, oh, that's got some heft to it. But when it's distributed all across the body, it really doesn't feel that different from any other shirt that you'd normally wear. One reason for that is this weighs, although it's an additional weight, it's only 2.3 pounds. So it's a weighted shirt that adds 2.3 pounds distributed evenly across your body. And this is one of the heavier items they offer. The short sleeve and the tank top have no extra weight on the arms. So this is about the max weight of the apparel that they offer. The construction of the shirt is very well done. I also like that it just kind of looks kind of normal, you know, like, I mean, it's not that normal. Like if you saw somebody walking around with this, you would probably ask, what are you wearing? But I think it's normal enough that it's not so stand out like you'd see with say a weight vest. If you see somebody wearing a weight vest, it's like obvious that person is wearing something different than what most people are wearing at this time. But if you're wearing this, you could easily cover it up. Weight vest is still gonna have the bulk. You could easily cover it up or it's something that you could flaunt to your friends because you spent so much money on something that's weighted and you're trying to eke out the performance gains. Or if you're like me, you'll wear it to a basketball game and the reason you lost is because you're wearing a weighted shirt. But overall, I think it's aesthetically pleasing. It seems like the founder for this company, I believe they used to work for Nike so they understand the aesthetics, they understand the market that they're trying to go after and it's the same market of people that buy really nice training shoes. It's somebody that wants something aesthetically pleasing but also has has some performance benefits built in and that's really where this lies. Now one thing that's interesting about Amorpho is it's hard to compare to other competitors because there aren't a lot out there. The competitors that you see are really ones that are comparing to the weight vest. So you have competitors like Hypervest or just normal weight vest that you could say are kind of competitive this but there really is no one else offering a micro loading shirt or micro loading pants that I've seen that's like really popular. But I think the biggest benefit to the apparel is that you can just wear it in everyday life. Now let's talk about the weight vest. Because the weight vest is a little bit different from the apparel. That's a max like 2.3 pounds or something like that, pretty lightweight. This is 10 pounds. So when we look at normal weight vests, 10 pounds is not like that heavy for a weight vest. In fact, if you look at any of the standards for like movements or workouts that are done with weight vests, they typically start at like 10 pounds or say for women, like 14 pounds. I'm talking about workouts like Murph and other CrossFit workouts. So this is technically not meeting that standard, but it's heavy enough to where it actually feels like there's some weight on here. The difference is because it's so lightweight and because of the way it's made, it feels very slim, form fitting. It just doesn't feel like a lot's there. So in my opinion, for my use, this is the one that's most interesting to me. The apparel is, ah, uh, it's okay, and I'll talk some more about cons, because I have quite a few, and where I think they sit. But the weight vest, I think it's actually very interesting, because one, it's very form-fitting. Like, it just fits and feels very shirt-like, which most weight vests do not. Number two, it's built really well. Like, they understand materials, like it's very nice material, sweat wicking, also form fitting. I love the little dots because it just wraps around you rather than being a plate where it's just like you always know it's there. So you can run with this, hike with this, do whatever you'd like. They're also using some nice connection systems here with this lock that just like automatically locks in with this gear using YKK zippers and then adjustments on the tops. So there's just a way for you to get it to where it feels shirt-like. Now it also feels shirt-like because it's only 10 pounds. But for somebody that wants to add not a crazy amount of weight that's gonna obstruct your movements and make it feel different than what you're normally used to using, but just something where you can add some extra weight and some extra load, this works. So these are kind of like the pros and kind of what they're looking for because they are marketing this and they're marketing it very heavy, like they're very good marketers and I think that's what's so interesting for people. But I do have some call-outs I wanna make. Number one is with micro-loading in general. Now, I'm not the scientist here. There's some of you that may be more inclined towards that. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. But in my research of the studies, the idea of micro-loading without incrementally micro-loading seems kind of dubious to me. I don't know if it's something that's actually gonna help performance and truly help performance for the normal person. Because here's the thing, any eking out of performance for a professional athlete where even a 1% 
increase in any of their metrics would be beneficial, this could really help. But if it's a general consumer, somebody that really just needs to be moving more and could just be benefited by lifting weight a little bit more, I don't know if this is the best way for them to actually get better strength gains or better cardio gains. Like there's many other things you could purchase. Also, when I go through the studies, one of the studies is titled Thigh Positioned Wearable Resistance Improves 40 Meter Sprint Performance. And they took a 30 year old former sprinter, had him work out for five weeks sprinting. I don't know what his former sprinting capacity was like before he started this, but they started using thigh positioned micro loading and tried to see if it improved their performance. And this was basically the conclusion. Theoretical maximum velocity increased by 1.2%. Theoretical measures of horizontal force increased by 7.1% and maximum power increased by 8.4%, which are all substantial increases. But the problem is they concluded with future research is needed with a larger cohort to verify the findings in this case because it was only done on a single male over five weeks. So in reality, they're pointing to some studies, but it hasn't been done on a large enough scale to say, yes, that's going to improve. When you think of micro loading, most people I'm sure you are too, are often thinking of like a barbell and adding like really small plates on there. But that's micro loading that can be done incrementally over time. You're just adding a little bit weight on each workout. The difference between that and something like this is this isn't adjustable. Like it's just, this is what you get. So this is 2.3 pounds, no matter when you put it on, there's no way to increase the load unless you increase the amount of shirts you're wearing. And that ends up being quite a bit of money for most people and also can just be kind of bulky and kind of against really what this idea is, which is just adding a little bit of weight to you. I don't know about you, but for me, like depending on what I ate last night, I may weigh five or six pounds more than I was yesterday. So my weight fluctuates generally evenly across my body more often and more so than a 2.3 pound shirt. Now the weight vest, although it's very nice and form fitting, it's number one, also not very heavy and also not adjustable. That's one of the annoyances I have with this is it'd be awesome if there's a way to add more in here, but then it would be very similar to a competitor like Hyperwear and their Hypervest that allows you to have these little adjustable pieces that go in and can start at 10 pounds, but can go much heavier than this one can. And this kind of brings me to like my final point. These things are pricey. <laughs> like. I'm sure it's not that surprising because they look pretty good. I, I mean, they're just constructed really well. Like it's, it's a very nice shirt. It's something you can wash. I would guess this is gonna last a very long time. I don't have any worry about these coming off. I also think it's a good design, like the way they have these, but you can wash it. It's gonna last a long time, but you're also paying for it. Like it's pretty expensive. So if you want the short sleeve shirt and a pair of tights, they're on sale if you bundle them for $229. I mean, that is, I see. That's something that's only adding just a couple pounds to your workouts. If you want the vest, it's $300. Not adjustable, so you can increase the load and it's only 10 pounds. When I compare that to other weight vests, even something that's like hyperwear, hyperwear is less, starts at 10 pounds and is adjustable and kind of is shirt-like, fits very similar to this. So it can have a similar method as this. Now it's not as good looking, I don't think, I know that's subjective, but like that, I think that's one of the things they're offering colors, they look pretty cool. If you're somebody who's really focused on form over function, I think the form of these is great, but there's so many other functional options that offer more adjustability and can go heavier than these right here. There actually used to be a company named Titan, T-I-T-I-N, that made a weighted shirt. They're not around anymore, but it was a similar idea where you could pack in different weights. The difference was it could go quite a bit heavier than this could, but this one looks a lot better. Now, one option for wearing this clothing is adding it underneath other clothing. So you could add this underneath the clothing you're already wearing. This is the problem I see with that. Number one is I think it can give the false perception that you're doing a workout even though you're not really doing a workout. You're adding a couple pounds to your body, which that may have some very slight performance gains, like you may increase your heart rate a little bit more, you may get a little bit stronger, but you're also paying a couple hundred bucks in order to do that, where if you really wanted to, you could just add like a one pound weight in your Carhartt jacket or add some extra clothing on that would be functional, not just when you're doing your workouts, but also in normal daily life. 
So I guess you could maybe eke out some performance benefits from wearing this underneath your other clothing, but I still wonder if two pounds is really gonna add that much performance gains for just a normal person when maybe if they wanted to, they could just add some extra weight in their pockets or something. So to conclude, do I like and recommend a Morpho? Probably not. I, not because I think their claim is not true on microloading, it's just because I haven't seen enough studies, I don't think it's been around long enough to know if microloading is actually something that's beneficial. Or if it is beneficial, I think the benefits are minor enough that spending this amount of money could be spent on something else that could provide you even better benefits. Now, if you're a pro athlete or an Olympian trying to just get every performance gain you can, then I think this would be fine to use. Like I remember when I was playing hockey, like we would add little donuts to, the, to our sticks to weight them just a little bit. So then when you took them off, it was just a little bit lighter. There were things like that that were beneficial that I think this meets. But for the general consumer that just needs to, you know, walk more, lift more weights for bone health, for strength, longevity, heart health, I think there's better options for less money than this. And then the weight vest, I would get this if you really want something that's only 10 pounds and looks dapper. But if you want something that's adjustable or something like other ones that are that even feel shirt-like but maybe don't look as good, I would look elsewhere, something like hyperwear or something like that. But I will say, I'm curious over the long term, as more studies come out, as more people are using these, and if more competitors come out, if this is something that is actually viable. Because right now, I'm looking and I'm like, man, Amorpho doesn't have any competitors. Does that mean they're revolutionary? Or does that mean it's hogwash? I don't know yet. We'll have to see in the future. What do you think of this? Is this something you would wear? Have you tested it? I will say it's built very well. This has been Coop from Garage Room Reviews. We'll see you next time.